post um, about comparing yourselves. And this is one of the things that I've really struggled with with social media. And I don't know if you guys, maybe you guys have struggled with this too. But I find social media a lot of the time can create a lot of feelings of uh, inferiority and maybe some jealousy and some resentment and some bitterness, some negative feelings in my life because you sort of see everyone else's lives on social media. In life in general, you know, people's relationships, people's experiences, maybe they're out on a bushwalk or hanging at the beach or on holiday. Or You know, you see all of these things on social media that's like the filtered snapshots, the perfection of people's lives, um, just constantly as you're scrolling through social media. Meanwhile, you're sitting on your couch, on your phone, or maybe you're on your computer in your office, and you're just scrolling through, seeing all of these people like living this amazing lifestyle, and you're like, here I am, just on my computer, doing fuck all, you know, or on my couch, as I said, and, and you, you, sort of, you sort of start to have this negative mental process kick off where you're like, oh, I don't have all of those things, my life's not that great. You know, and you start to become very bitter and jealous and resentful. And yeah. I'm very much aware that the things you see on social media isn't the full story. Um, and that's something that I think we all need to remind ourselves of quite often is when you see that snapshot of somebody's life, like it's a snapshot. That's not every day for them. That's not all the time. They might just be putting up a photo of them on holidays or at the beach or whatever because they're having a bunch of fun doing it. And it's like, that's awesome that they share that. But don't think that that's their entire life obviously you know they have mental health struggles maybe they've got some arguments at home with their partner or with their family or whatever you know everyone's got their shit maybe they hate their job or... so what you're seeing is just these little snapshots of perfection of happiness of fun times uh, or you know of somebody's talent to say they're putting up a video of them playing guitar or they're putting up a concert or whatever it's like these are just snapshots and you have to remind yourself like i have snapshots too in my life of awesomeness and i'm grateful for those but like nobody's life can be that all the time. It was, it was really dangerous to always be comparing yourself to other people, especially through social media, because what you're seeing is a highlight reel. And it's not even one person's highlight reel. What you're essentially doing by comparing your life to like 10 posts is you're comparing your life to 10 other people's highlights, not even one other person's highlights. Um, I don't know if you guys have, have sort of dealt with some of those feelings or some of those thoughts before, but I'd love to, if you'd have, like, I'd love to hear about it. So I know that I'm not like the only one, you know, dealing with this sort of shit. So um, like in my case, like resentful or, or jealous or whatever it might be, it's like, shit, okay, I'm feeling this. This thing is triggering these emotions in me. These aren't good feelings. They're not going to be productive feelings. They're going to impact me negatively. I need to like be aware that I'm feeling that and then remove myself from the situation, you know? And like you say about the news, you know, just switching it off. Or if you start to feel like, shit like my life is not as good as all these ones on social media like it's at that moment as soon as you realize that you're feeling that that's when you need to log off social media and go and do something with your life and yeah. you know, live your life and be grateful for what's in it or for the people in it or for whatever it is that you're up to that day you know yeah but sitting there being negatively triggered and then staying there and keeping that like feed going and yeah. and building those negative feelings and adding to them and adding to them like that's just a downward spiral waiting to happen you're, yeah. you're not feeling valued in your friendship groups mm. you know you're not feeling of value in in your instagram feed like oh all these people are posting their highlights i have nothing to contribute so therefore i'm a less of a person mm. even and as you've said that's just going to be a spiral obviously yeah and that's simply just not true like simply just because you don't have a cool photo to put up or you don't have anything to add to the conversation on on a particular post or you don't have that many likes on your pictures or whatever. It's like, it's like it doesn't matter. Like, no. are you enjoying your life? Are you living the life that you want to live? Yeah. And if the answer to that's yes, like yeah. you're happy. Like, what's the issue? You don't need to compare yourself. Yeah. You don't need to be like, but I'm not as happy, or I'm not living that life. Like, go and live the life that you want to live. Yeah. And if the answer is no, you're not living the life that you want to live. Well, then staying on social media, consuming other people's lives, that's even more of a downward spiral. If you're not living the life you want to live, then that's even more of a reason to log off social media and go and live the life that you want to live. You know, what you see on social media takes a lot of work to filter it out, um, like mentally. Um, it's easy to feel like you're not as successful as others and feel down about it. Uh, Taz says he constantly reminds himself he's doing the best he can, he is where he is, and that's where he's meant to be. Um, and then you, you know, and that's something that's really important. And that's kind of what I was talking about the other day on Instagram with the comparison subject is like, you are where you're at. Don't compare yourself to where other people are at. Because they're not you, and they haven't had your life and your journey, and they're not the same age as you, and the same 
situation as you are in life. Yeah. You know, you're, you're here, wherever here is for you. All that you have to focus on is like, how can I make one step forward today to yep. be somewhere better tomorrow? You know? And just being grateful for the past experiences that have got you to where you are and focusing on what you can do next to move forward. Um, and that's one thing that Taz there has said has um, been his mindset when approaching all of those negative feelings. And yep. that's something that I've been doing as well, which has really, really helped me. It's like, no, no, I'm here. What am I working on? I'm working on these things. That's one thing that we've got to remind ourselves of. It's like, you are where you're at and other people want to be where you are. So you want to be where other people are. It's, it's like a, the grass is always greener kind of thing. You know, you just have to be grateful that you are where you're at and just try and do the best you can with that. Yep. But in the world, there's going to be at least 100 people that are like way better than you are at anything that you do. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you think you're the best at in your life, yep. there's at least 100 people, probably thousands, right. out there in the world that are far, far better than you. Yep. The thing is, before social media, you didn't even know those people existed. Yep. And you certainly weren't seeing them. Yep. And so you, you, you were allowed to have the confidence. I guess allowed is probably the right word. You were allowed to have the confidence to be like... I'm happy I'm with my skills. Yeah. I'm good at this thing. Yeah. Um, but as soon as things like social media come in and it's like, okay, but are you the best in the world? Yeah. And then like, it turns out you're not even in the top thousand. Yeah. You're like, oh shit. And then of course that's going to impact your confidence. You're yeah. going to be like, oh fuck, I thought I was good at this. And it turns out I'm not that good. It's, it's one man, of those things, man. What, what you've identified there again, like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you lie in the spectrum of seven and a half billion people. Correct. It's where you lie in you versus you. That's the yeah, thing, man. And that's, that's the that's the challenge. It's not comparing yourself. I mean, it's easy to say don't compare yourself. It just, it really <laughs> just, is. Just do it. Yeah. You know? But we're gonna compare ourselves because that's how humans relate to each other on a psychological level, subconsciously. We always compare ourselves to everything around us. Like, yeah. where do we sit in this group of people? Where do yeah. we sit in the bigger group of people? I think what one of the sort of strategies, if there was one, is not to compare yourself to other people, but compare yourself to you yesterday. Are you better than you were yesterday? If the answer is yes, you're winning. You're making progress. Yeah. If the answer is no, it's time to do something about that because yeah. that means you're going backwards, or at least staying still, which is Stagnant. in essence going backwards. Stagnant over time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, if you're gonna compare yourself, and you are gonna compare yourself, yeah. Compare yourself to you. Be like, where was I yesterday? Where was I a year ago? Where was I five years ago? Shit, I've made some fucking progress. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. And that's where the confidence and the happiness and the the prog progress fuels the fire to keep going forwards and forwards and forwards because yep. now you're like, well, I'm better than I was yesterday. Yep. Let's be better again tomorrow. Yep. You know, compare yourself to yesterday, not to other people today. On the social media. <laughs> in, in life. life. Yeah. In life. Man. Yeah. In life.